picture of the uh, of the, the, the mountains back this way. That mountain is Speculator Mountain. Uh, as you can, as you see, uh, it is it's the largest mountain in the region. Uh, in the uh, late 1800s, uh, the, the the people of the of this region called this this Newton's Corners instead of Speculator. Well, the when the post office was first established, there were two Newton Corners, New York. So somebody had to change the name. And at that time it was determined that the that by the village of Speculator and the postmaster that uh, we should rename the village. Well the village was they, they tried to get a vote, tried to get a consensus, and it was pretty tough to do so. Uh, there were a lot of names thrown out there. Uh, but eventually they, they, uh, the postmaster said we're going to call it Speculator after the mountain. So that's how Speculator got its name. Speculator Mountain, as you can guess, uh, was named for speculators. Uh, whether that would be speculation of gold on that mountain or silver, uh, nobody really is for sure. There are, there are uh, pockets of gold, gold veins that run through here. Uh, we, ha we have found some uh, when we're doing an excavation for septic systems, but there's not enough gold to justify pouring it out. And as with anything in New York State, the state says that all the gold in the ground belongs to them. Bring back around here. We'll pan back to the Canadian goose swimming in the water. Looking back, back towards uh, the mountains, uh, that is uh, way back towards the, the hamlet of Lake Pleasant. The large house that you can barely see on the other shore uh, was called Deer Lot. Uh, uh, it was owned by the Bell family. And the Bell family. Uh, he was a prominent uh, a surgeon, so he, to his, they came up and spent the summers at the summer house. And tragically, his daughter, his young daughter, died at uh, what is now known as Christine Falls from a fall. So that is how Christine Falls got its name. The Methodist Church uh, was being built about the same time and they donated the, the stained glass windows in her honor. is a natural sand beach as the waves crash up this way and push the sand this way out, out of the out of the lake the lake depth is uh, about 30 feet as a mean depth uh, it does drop off on the other side of the island to about 65 feet again the lake surface of this lake is 1725 feet Out to the edge of the dock. The private dock is, is right there. These are private docks. The edge of that dock, you could you could literally uh, walk out to that boat and be knee deep in water. So there's not very doubt. You can see the other docks beyond that one, uh, where the, where how far those go out. And it's not because of privacy. That's just because that's where they as close as they can get their boats into.